Hey, thanks so much for tuning to the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. Uh, we're going to continue on in the book of Proverbs. Hopefully you have enjoyed and you've uh, gained and gleaned uh, insight and wisdom from God and realized the foolishness of this world. One thing I want to ask you before we dive into Proverbs chapter 16, verses 1 through 3 is this. Are you a planner? Are you somebody who uh, has a plan for a plan for a plan? Now, for me personally, I'm not a natural planner. Um, I like to live my life in such a way that's like, hey, it's going to be okay. You know, live by faith, you know, not by sight, right? Uh, that's <laughs> not the wisest. I, I'll be uh, completely honest with you. Thankfully, I have married uh, a planner, Pastor Sarah, and um, I have learned and grown into an appreciation of the value of planning. And obviously, my job, I have to be a planner. I can't just be relying on the here and now and like, oh, it's okay, you know. No, I have to have some foresight. We've talked about prudence before. I need to be thinking of the best of what's going to happen future-wise, not just uh you know, settling for what's happening right now or not just being reactionary, but proactively, that all of those things are planning out in advance. Now, again, if you're a natural planner, you're like, oh, yeah, preach it, brother. Uh, if you're not, you're like, oh, man, I have to like plan ahead. I have to like work in advance. Yes, you do. But one thing that we have to understand is this, is that even though it's important to plan in advance. It's important to understand, um, to have some uh, prudence, to be able to be proactively, you know, uh, take some initiatives in places so that you can be more successful uh, and then you can plan out in advance. So that way you can react in a way because you've already planned out and you've already disciplined yourself in certain areas. All of that is good, but all of that also falls short. Uh, because you are limited. But praise God, we have access to the wisdom from God. Listen to verses 1 through 3, Proverbs chapter 16. We can make our own plans. Like I said, that's a good thing. But the Lord gives the right answer. People may be uh, pure in their own eyes, but the Lord examines their motives. And that is something that uh, we can't hide from God. And we may be able to fool other people with our actions and we may even be able to say the right things, fooling people um, of our um, of our pure motives. But the Lord examines our true motives. He sees our heart. He examines our heart. So one thing we have to understand is this. Um, having plans is important, but the Lord gives the right answers. Uh, doing the right thing, doing good things, being um, having a compassionate heart, showing Love and care and consideration for others is all good, but let's understand our motives because if we're doing things in the wrong motive, there is no hiding from God from that, even though we may be able to fool other people. And then verse three, commit your actions to the Lord and your plans will succeed. Commit your plans to the Lord and your plans will succeed. Now that is something that we have to be able to discipline ourselves and have the humility to be like, God, here are the plans, but then also take a step further and say, but God, I want your will, not mine, because I know that your way is better than my way. So this is what I'm thinking, and I think it's important. I think God desires for us to share our desires with him. And what he wants to do in us is to reveal what is best for you. And then for us to respond in such a way in humility and say, yes, Lord, let your will be done and not mine. Then we will know for sure that our plans will succeed. May you be encouraged and may you hear his voice. May you experience his provision as you choose to go to him. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth.